This is Painted Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. For you. Come calmly and go. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going. Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. up here what a lady you are bring Cortez around the front for me will you I'll get them ready for you come on I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch mr. sheriff Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done. How? Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs>
that jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Find him. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself, to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. The fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Before we do anything. Whoa. Head up, lady. <laughs> 